Good morning YouTube, Chris here in the Country Roads Garden, welcome back to another video. Wow, what a different old day it is this week to last, but tell you what, we desperately need this rain, desperately need it. We haven't had proper rainfall for, oh, well over a month. We've had little showers here and there, but because the ground is so dry, it's just running off. Anyway, I have got a multiple of jobs to do today at this property. One of them is going to be cutting the grass, so I've got three uh, methods of attack for that today. I'm going to be doing some stripping, I'm going to be doing some push mowing and tractor mowing. But because the ground is wet and it's still drizzling, I'm going to do some boxes trimming first. So this little Mediterranean garden here, I'm going to give this a trim up. It's a good day to do it, we're overcast. Um, we haven't got much of a, a breeze at all, so clippings won't go too far. But let's uh, get on and uh, tackle this. Starts finishing the rain's finished as well. Get time to have me cold coffee now. <coughs> but it's all full of tulip beans. Anyway, <laughs> right. Mm, oh, the old ones are the worst. So I've just been round with my Japedo um, shears. I like doing the bulk with the hedge cutter and then just going round and like defying the cuts and going underneath the bottoms and shaping the tops and you know just getting those fine details i find with the shears um get i love i love the uh the hedge cutter but the shears i find can just do uh those fine bits I've done a nice job of the inside of the circles there Me personally, I, I love using hand tools like like shears for edging, for shaping shrubs. 
Um, uh, I find it a little bit sad. I mean, I'm a traditional gardener, shall we say. I find it a little bit sad that um, mm, people will reach for uh, for the hedge cutter and the strimmer before hand tools. I know. It, I guess this is where I'm lucky. How I've based my business around traditional gardening, and you know, I I go and do a job for you know bulk time where a lot of people are quick in and out and they've got to use the power tool so i appreciate that so it's not for everybody but me personally i find it's not a lost skill but it's it's certainly going that way from what i see through through uh, social media um but there we are anyway let's get the uh, little camera over and you can have a look at the final finished bit of boxes here These um, leaf grabs, well not this specific pair, I've been using these for about 10 years I suppose now. My um, One of my customers introduced me to them, to the Yeoman brand. And it's a brand that I've gone back to. This is my second pair of these. I did buy one by Spear and Jackson, to be honest, they weren't, they weren't great. But these, such a basic, basic thing, but yeah. Say that's probably one of the best things you can get for hedge cutting, other than a good hedge cutter. Okay, so I'm going to do some work on these beds. I've got a bit of cutting back, like the sedum and things in there. I've started pulling out a load of fever few and this typical goose grass that seems to be growing everywhere this year. <coughs> these lambs is down here, need some of the flowers come back and there's thistles and docks and all sorts of those little nasties in there. So I'm gonna work through these for a couple of hours. I'm gonna let the lawns dry out a little bit, hopefully, because I run a hater. <laughs> And anyone who runs a hater, and this is where people say, oh, you want to get the new one, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I haven't got the new one. I've got this one, which is a 56 BBC. And I purchased this brand new, the, oh, no, I'm just, my fan. Oh, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, 56 BBC. And I purchased this a few months, literally before uh, the commercial one came out. Anyway. On the way in today, I had to. We've got lots of curvy lanes, and I had to really get over. And I've just realised that uh, I was a little bit too generous getting over. I've got a ripped, ripped one of my numbers. Can't see anything else. I did this sign writing myself with my little lad, and um, if you, we did film it. If you want to, there's a little bit there as well. And there. Um, I'll put a little tag up here, and if uh, you want to watch, <laughs> watch me and my boy putting stickers on the van, then uh, that's there for you. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with this. You have a little look around the garden, and we'll catch up and do some mowing in a while.
Oh well, that's uh, the loving rose garden here and the front lawn done. Time to get the tractor mower out and uh, cut the large areas and some of the rough areas as well. Just emptying the wheelbarrow of grass clippings here. I don't know if the camera's picking it up but you've got the sound of a cuckoo in the background. Absolutely love it. I think cuckoos are the birds which actually lay their eggs in another bird's nest and then when they hatch the the uh, the chicks will there it goes will bully the other birds out and I think they even kill them or kick them out of the nest. And um, so the, the the cuckoo tricks the uh, the mother bird with the other eggs into feeding its chicks. Nice eh? Beautiful.
can't see the pill of that relaxing. Oh, right, okay. I'm gonna end the video there. I've done that bit of trimming. To be honest, I actually got a little bit carried away and I went round and done a few bits that I missed with the uh, with the mower earlier on. <coughs> um, I've gone and cut a load of paths in around here. I'm not sure what they normally do, but I've kind of followed it uh, where I kind of think that um, these areas would look nice with like wildflowers or left to, to meadow grass or whatever. So I've just gone along the top of the hibiscus here, but this is down where I've done the bulk of the strimming. Um, I didn't go up into the triangles where the grass is, so I just went round here. So this is one of the hedges and jobs that I'll do next week. Give that a trim up. See, I've just gone round and strimmed just around there. Can I have a quick thanks to all my viewers and subscribers? Uh, special thanks goes out to those who comment uh, the regular names do come up within the comment section and I'm really grateful for the support and the nice comments that people leave as a, as a content creator it's, uh, it's always nice to get, get feedback and I'd just like to thank you very much for sticking with us and um, your kind words of encouragement because your kind words of encouragement does spur us on to, to do this because as you can guess it's not easy doing this sort of thing I mean you're doing the job trying to do content for you then you go home and you do your editing and everything and we're not talking me sitting there in the van just talking a static view we're talking hours of editing like today will probably take me at least eight hours depending on what fancy editing I do so a lot of time and effort goes into it and I have to say for very very tiny financial gain it's more gain out of um, doing it for, for a passion doing it for a for a love and this youtube is a byproduct of my work and the work will always come first anyway i've loaded up it's been a day of several seasons i'm green crackhead if i'm honest or a very day hedge cutting, boxes of anything, I love that. Bed work, still things I've got to be pruning. I found a couple of hydrangeas around there that I could really be doing. I've got lots of dividing up and things to do, lots of little foxgloves and primulas and everything just to sort of divide. And next week I'm gonna tackle all the daffs. Lawns as well, a bit of strimming. Oh, it's just been varied, very varied. Anyway, I thank you once again for joining me. Really do appreciate it. And we'll catch up with another one soon. Cheers.